Say to your neighbor. <laughs> so tonight turned out to be a beautiful evening. Earlier I thought it was going to be too hot, but it turned out to be perfect. So today's class is going to be more of a slower pace and uh, a little bit more introspective going into the breath, into the thoughts, into the body. So let's find our seat. If you choose a different seat or position, just find stillness wherever you are and find comfort in your shape. So find something that you know you're not going to have to move around or adjust. Let's close the eyes. Slowly breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. This may be the first big breath that you've taken today. So really enjoy, soak it in. And as you're exhaling, be mindful of the ease that you can create with that exhale, physically and mentally. No matter what is going on around you, you have this ability to do this at any place, at any time. We practice it here so that we can use it when we need it. Feel your breath move. Bring a gentle smile. Take your hands to your heart. We'll do three ohms to begin the practice. Smiling gently as we breathe in. hands to your knees, palms facing up, first finger and thumb touch. Feel the vibration of that sound. And if you didn't verbally make the sound, still feel and chant that sound in your mind. Om is the most powerful sound of the universe. It is the strongest mantra and it magnifies any other mantra by putting that word in front of it. We'll do a round of Kapalabhati, taking your right hand first two fingers coming into the root of the thumb. The right thumb will block the right nostril. The right ring finger will block the left nostril. I'll count the breath. You go to your own pace if you need to. Exhaling together. Block the right. Inhale left for three, two, one. Block left. Exhale right. Three, two, one, inhale right, block right, exhale left, inhale left, block left, exhale right, inhale right, Block right, exhale left. Inhale left. Hold the breath. Repeat. Om, om, om.
Release the right, exhale. Inhale, right. Hold the breath, repeat. Om, Om, Om. Release the left, exhale. Inhale, left. And as you're breathing in, directing your gaze up to your third eye, hold the breath, repeat your mantra. Block left, exhale right. Inhale right. Hold the breath, repeat your mantra, eyes focused to the third eye. Release left, exhale. Right hand to the right knee, palms face up. Slow breath in through both nostrils. Hold the breath. Gazing at the third eye. Repeating your mantra. Exhale. Slow breath in. Long breath out. Slow breath in. Start your ujjayi breath. Exhaling, constrict the back of the throat slightly. Set your intention. What do you want to get out of your time here? Know that you have the ability to get to your goals, empowering yourself, empowering your mind. Bringing your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Twisting to the right, exhale. Inhale, come back through center, move slow. And exhale, twist left. As you're twisting, squeeze the belly. Inhale up. And exhale to the right. And just moving with your breath. Inhale to come through center. And the exhales to twist. One more on each side. And exhale to the right. Sorry, left is the last one arms up through center. Exhale the hands, go behind you. Plant your feet in front. Plant your hands behind. Lift your hips up. And exhale, come back down. So moving through the hips, trying to get them up to the height of the knees. We're also creating space into the forearm and chest. Just a couple more. This last one, we're going to stay down, bring the legs long in front, and walk the hands folding forward. While we're here, lengthen your low back. So think about bringing your belly button up towards your knees and your forehead towards your toes, but keep softening through the spine. So you're trying to get longer with every breath in and softer with every breath out. Find your breath is expanding your back, squeezing your belly. Inhale to bring the head up. Lean to the left. 
bend your right knee, the top of the right foot comes to the mat beside your hip. If you need to, you can lean to the left and take some of the pressure off of the ankle, but I want you to maintain the toes pointing directly back, not to the side. Square yourself down, pelvis is square to the front of your mat. If you want, you can walk back. So choose what modification works for you, staying onto the left side if you need to, to keep your toes pointing directly back. If your knee is popping off of your mat, you're going too far and you're creating a stretch in an improper angle. So it's only going to throw your body off and cause an imbalance. So be aware if you're going into a posture more out of ego than out of nurturing. So be aware of the intention of the movement. And again, we start to breathe and feel that internal. How is the mind moving while we're here? How does the body feel while we're here? Just start to come really introspective in your shape and in your sensation. If you walk the hands all the way back, start to take your time to come up, leaning to the left, releasing the right leg. Check out how that feels. Let's spread the toes and squeeze the toes. Spread the toes, squeeze the toes. Continue that. And now we point the toes and press out of the heel. Come to neutral, lean to the right, left knee bends, top of the foot on the mat. So, be aware of the shape that you choose. Toes point directly back. If you need to, you're leaning to the side, but the toes stay directly back. If you want more intensity, if you need more length, if you want to create more length, I should say, then you can walk the hands back. If your knee is off of your mat, you're going too far. You're also going to hurt yourself. So be mindful of why you're taking the shape, where you're feeling it in your body, and then allow that to happen. So it might be a little uncomfortable Notice if it's discomfort or if it's pain, if it's something you need to move out of or something that you can kind of breathe into. And that's going to depend on you and how you are today. And it's always going to be different. So as you're here, really be aware of how you're feeling. longer breath if you can. Next breath in, release, come up if you need to, lean to the right, straighten through the left leg, and again, let's just make circles now with the ankles, find neutral through both sides of the body. Try to exaggerate the shape that you're creating even in the ankles and the bottoms of the feet. And let's go the other way. Hold to center. Bring your heels to the front corners of your mat. Bring your arms directly in front of you, and fingers interlaced. Shoulders are, or wrists are going to be at the height of the shoulders. Reach forward, 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 forward. And as we exhale, go back. Squeezing the belly, point your tailbone to the front of your mat. Inhale, go forward, forward, forward. Long spine. Exhale, go back and squeeze the belly as you do so. Keep moving with your breath. Inhales to get long. Notice if the arms start sinking towards the ground. See if you can keep the arms so that they're always parallel with the ground as you're moving forward. 
and back. Ujjayi breath strong. The exhale is creating more power in your core. Create that. Two more. Next one, we come forward, release the hands. Take the knees to one, or bend the knees, take the feet to one side, then come to sit. Another breathing exercise. Uh, the last one I said was um, Kapalabhati. That was uh, Nadi Shodana. So I just wanted to correct that. So for this one, arms straight up. And when we exhale, we pull the elbows down and the thumbs tuck into the fists. It's a strong inhale and exhale through the nostrils. So let's just come down for a second. So this breath is really good for clearing the lungs physically and it's also good for clearing out negative and old emotions so again just like with our postures there is a purpose and there is an intention so with your movement be intentional and with your breath be intentional so this is a kriya just how the mantras are very powerful, the kriyas are very powerful, but, it, but you need to really get into that space. So we're clearing out the physical body, we're clearing out the em negative emotions. Okay, inhale, arms up. Exhale to begin. Inhale, 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 hold the breath. Arms are high, fingers are spread. Om, om, om. Keep repeating that in your mind. Keep holding your breath. Exhale, hands to the thighs. Allow the eyes to close. Find your ujjayi breath right away. Feel the tingling happening in the body, positive prana. With our next inhale, come forward to table and moving to downward dog. Pressing the heels towards the mat, pressing the armpits towards the ankles. And bring your gaze in between your big toes. Spread your fingers. Close your eyes. So take advantage of the shape that you're in here and how the breath moves you. Feel the width that can be created into your side, ribs, through the back, the shoulders. The strength you can create in your belly, find that here. Inhale forward to sh uh, plank and the knees down to table. Tuck your toes and walk your hands back. So now we're getting some movement into the bottoms of the feet. If you need to, you can stay here. If you want more intensity, you can come up with the hands onto the thighs. Now check in with the alignment of your toes. They're pointing directly forward and the heels are directly above the toes. Remember the intention. Feel that you can breathe your exhale out of the bottoms of your feet. You have the control of this discomfort. If you ever need to, you can go down to your hands and you're still creating the shape that we're looking for in the toes. One more long breath in and smile as you do so, bringing that smile all the way down to your toes. Exhale forward to table, moving into downward dog.
Notice how a little more space at the bottoms of the feet can make a change into your downward dog. Check your alignment, toes pointing forward, shoulder blades slide down your back. Power and arms, legs equally strong. Left foot stays down, right leg goes up, inhaling. Come forward and exhaling, the right knee comes to the chest and right foot comes in between the hands. Bring the left knee down. Untuck the left toes. We're trying to get the right knee over the right ankle. Left knee can drag back. We're just going to stay here. We're trying to create some movement into the front left hip. Try to draw your left hip forward a little bit more. So we're squaring the pelvis to the front of your mat. Now notice if you're dipping your right hip down. Try to equalize that. Take your right hand to your right knee, keeping the pelvis square. And using your right hand to push you up, take the left arm to the sky. And you're still using that right hand to help draw your chest open more to the sky. Check in with the right foot, spread the toes. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. Relax your forehead. Slow breath in. And exhale, hands down. Framing the right foot. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. Now notice here, we still wanna maintain the pelvis square to the front of your mat. Bring your right hand to your right ear. Bring your right elbow to the sky. As you're doing so, the left hip is still pulling to the front of your mat. Notice if you're dipping your right hip, pull your shoulder blades down your back, deep inhale, and exhale the hand down. Right foot goes back, plank, inhale. Check your alignment in your plank. Middle finger or first finger pointing forward. Getting the hips in line with the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, knees down and lower the chest down. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale to lower the chest. We're going to do two more Cobras. Inhale and lift. You can use your hands. We're trying to create a back bend equal and even. Exhale to lower. Notice where the back bend happens. Try not to have it all happen in your neck. Use your mid spine. And exhale, coming down. Just make a pillow with your hands. Let the heels fall outward, no effort in the legs or in the thighs. Take advantage of the earth underneath you, allowing you to take a bigger breath into your back, your ribs, your spine. Inhale, bring the head up, take the hands under the shoulders. Exhale, table. Inhale, downward dog. Anytime you come to your downward dog, find your alignment. Hands equally grounded, heels in line with the hips. Soften the shoulders. Keeping the right foot down, bring the left leg up. And bring the left foot in between the hands, bring the right knee down. Untuck the right toes. Now checking with the pelvis, try to get your right hip to go forward. Kind of play around with what's going on here. A lot of times the hip flexor will start to tighten more because it may not be used to the shape or maybe it's a little stressful. Sometimes your emotions will affect your body. So notice here what's going on and use your exhale to really allow that to soften. left hand to the left knee take your time using the hand to help lift you up right arm up and leaning back 
chest to the sky. Right hip pulling forward. Shoulders down. Eyebrows down. Breathing into the chest. And feel that the breath can move through the whole body. One more inhale. Exhale the hands down. Framing the left foot. Right toes tuck, lift the right knee. Now again, square the pelvis to the front of your mat. Straighten through the right knee. Take the left fingers to the left ear. Bring your left ear to the sky. Pull your right hip forward. Pull your shoulder blades together. Deep breath in. Exhale the hand down. This time we're taking the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Straighten the leg and walk the hands to center. So now we're in a wide fold facing the right. Deep inhale. Bend your right knee and exhale. Turn your left toes out to the left. The left leg stays straight. This is our shadow lunge. Inhale straight legs and exhale left shadow lunge. You're just going side to side. You don't have to touch the ground all the way down if you want to hold your hands on a block or something that you can balance on. Just take your time as you're moving. Remember the intention here. We're trying to open up the hip. We're trying to open up the inner thigh. Finish onto the right and see if you can just stay low. Holding right knee bent. And if you want, you can take your hands to your heart. And let's move hands down, move over to the left. We're just gonna hold it for a couple breaths. You choose how low you go, what you hold. Make sure that your breath is calm. And exhale, hands down, come back through neutral. Turn the toes to face the front of your mat and step your left foot back to downward dog. Inhale forward to plank. On or off the knees, exhale to lower. Take your time as you come down. Don't let your head hang. Cobra as you inhale. Exhale, lower down. Two more like that. Inhale. Creating an equal and even back bend from the back of the neck to the low back. One more. Making a pillow with your hands. Let your heels fall outward. One bumblebee breath here. Inhale. Smile. Checking in with the body. Realize that your thoughts create your sensations. Positive thought. Gratitude for this body, for this breath. Take your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, coming up to table. Exhale to downward dog. Check your alignment with your hands and your feet. Right leg up, inhale. Right foot between the hands, exhale. Ground into your right foot, step your left foot forward so that both heels are down. Draw your left hip forward, your right hip back. Step your right foot a little bit out to the right so the left foot is not directly behind it, just for your better balance. Let's come up to stand. Reaching the arms up. Exhaling, hands interlace behind the back. 
Inhale, knuckles reach down, chest goes up. Now as we exhale, we're just going halfway down, but I want you to keep your throat a little bit open. I don't want you to hang your head. Draw your left hip forward, right hip back. Notice if your right hip is dipping. Long breath in. Exhale, lower down, hands down. Right knee bends, right foot goes back. Side plank on the right, bring your left arm to the sky. You can bring your right knee down if you need. Deep breath in. Hand down as we exhale. Hold your plank, inhale. <laughs> exhale, lower down slow. Cobra or upward dog, inhale. Child's pose, exhale. Ujjayi breath. Next inhale, arms reach forward, table, down dog. Check your hands and feet. Left leg up, inhale. Left foot between the hands as we exhale. Stay grounded into that left foot. Step your right heel in. Draw the left hip back. Checking your alignment of your feet, and then come up when you're ready. Arms up. Hands behind the back as we exhale. Chest up, inhale, shoulder blades together, and exhale, hinge halfway down. Left hip draws back, gentle bend in the left knee. You don't have to go all the way down. You can just even move a couple inches forward. Keep squeezing the right hip to go forward a bit more. One more inhale. Exhale the hands down, left knee bends. Sliding the left foot back. Side plank on the left, bringing the right arm up. Left knee can stay down. Spread the fingers of your left hand. Deep breath in. Hand down, exhale. Hold your plank. Inhale, smile. Exhale, lower down slow. Upward dog or cobra, you choose on your inhale. Down dog, exhale. Walking your feet to the center of your mat. Coming all the way up to stand. Take your hands to your heart. The mosquitoes are out in full force right now, eh? <laughs> Do you want the spray? Yeah, it's in the um, the black bucket thing by the picnic table. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I know they're bad right now. So let's scare the mosquitoes away. <laughs> so we're we're inhaling here. Arms are wide. With the exhale, we tap the chest, and it's a strong exhale out through the nose. Then we inhale back to center, and then we exhale back to the left side. So, <laughs> so um, this Kriya is really good for, if anyone wants any. <laughs> um, so this is really good for clearing out the lungs as well, but also strengthening the immune system. So our thymus gland is here, and when we tap the thymus gland, it helps to stimulate that. So again, be intentional of this Kriya. There is a purpose to it. It is a cleansing breath. It is a strengthening, immune-boosting breath. So think of that as we're moving through this Kriya. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale and begin. Tap the chest so you make a sound. Tap. 
tapping the center of the chest. Three, two, one, inhale, 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 hold the breath, slight lift of the chin, om, 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 keep repeating that in your mind, focusing at the third eye, exhale, hands to heart, ujjayi breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Step to the front of your mat and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step back to downward dog. Exhale, move forward to table, left knee down and the right leg up. Bring your left arm forward. Now we're trying to create balance in the body here, strengthen the core. Strengthen the right arm and left glute equally. The right hip is gently drawing up to the right armpit. Deep breath in. Hand down as we exhale. Left toes tuck and inhale one leg dog. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Inhale crescent. Take your hands to your heart as we exhale. We lean forward and straighten the right leg so we're on the left toes. Open the arms out to a T. Lift the back leg. Lift the chin. Uh, left leg goes back behind you and we're arching the spine, lifting the chin and shining the heart forward and up. This is angel pose. If you need to, left toes can touch down. Find your breath. This is a beautiful heart opening pose. Accepting, receiving, and giving love. Exhale, hands to heart, left knee bends, step it way back. Lunge, hands down. Right arm to the sky, inhale. Exhaling, right hand down, ground into your left foot, outer edge of the left foot, side plank if you want, left hand or right hand holds the right knee or toe, right leg can lift, you choose your option, inhale, hand down as we exhale, plank, deep breath in, lower exhale. Up dog, cobra, inhale. Child's pose, exhaling. Wide breath into your back. Arms reach forward, inhale to table. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale forward to table, the right knee down, the left leg up, the right arm up. Strong left leg, left hip draws to the left armpit slightly and the tailbone points to the left heel. Try not to point it to the sky. Left toes are turned down, upper back is strong, fingertips spread into the mat, deep breath in. Just the hand down on the exhale. One leg dog, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, the left foot between the hands. Crescent, inhaling arms up. Hands come to heart and exhale, drag the right foot closer to you. The toes will just stay tapped down. Arms open wide, chest arches forward and right leg can lift. Spreading the fingers, first finger and thumb touch. Keep spreading the toes, those mosquitoes. <laughs> Big breath in. Now hands to heart, left knee bends, right foot goes way back. Lunge, hands down. Left arm up, inhale. Pull your right hip forward. Exhale, the left hand comes down. We roll to the outer edge of the right foot or come down 
to the right knee. We're coming into that side plank. You choose your modification. You can hold your knee, you can hold your toe, or you can keep your left foot on your right. Deep breath in. Lower down as we exhale, move it to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower for four, three, two, one. Pillow with the hands. Ujjayi breath. Slow your heart rate down. Two bumblebee breaths here. Inhale. your hands under your shoulders, moving to table. Walk the knees to the left, come to sit, bring your legs straight forward. Left leg stays straight, right foot goes to the inside of the left thigh. Square the chest over the left leg, inhaling tall and exhaling fold. Next inhale, head comes up. Take the right foot to the outside of the left thigh. Chest stays square to the front of your mat. Shoulders back and down. Bring your left arm up. And we twist shoulders now square to the right side of your mat. You can take the elbow in front of your right knee and twisting to the right. Pull your left hip back. Tall spine, try to get the head above your tailbone. So notice if you're leaning back into that back hand and instead lengthen your spine, lengthen that left leg and pull the toes to the sky. It's an active left thigh. Upper back engaged. Next inhale, plant the right hand. Now we lean back. Take the left arm up, the right foot comes back to the inside of the left thigh, and lift the hips up. Reaching the hips up, the left foot and the right hand equally down. One more breath in. And exhale to lower. Right leg forward. Left foot to the inside of the straight right leg. Chest square over the right thigh, and fold forward. Ujjayi breath. Think about your intention of your movement, the intention of your shape. Next breath in, coming up taking the left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Lengthen your spine. So notice where your head is in relation to your tailbone. We're gonna keep that alignment. Right arm goes up and we try to get the chest to square to the left side of the mat, holding the outside of the left knee with the right inner elbow. And notice if you started to lean back. Notice if you started to roll your shoulder forward. Think about your chest being the same as if it was if you were square to the front of your mat. Notice the difference. Remember the intention is to get the twist through the spine, not necessarily a stretch to the shoulder. Take one more breath in. And exhale, we release the left foot to the inside of the right thigh, plant the left hand, 
lift the hips up. Ground your left palm and right foot equally down. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips higher, inhale. And exhale to come down. The left knee will stay bent. Take your right knee on top of it. If that doesn't happen, <laughs> left, uh, sorry, right ankle on top of the left ankle. Or right knee on top of the left knee. Or somewhere in between that. I want you to make sure that your hips are grounded down. So remember, tall spine. If you start to lift the hip, then it's not a tall spine anymore, right? So we want to try to think of the intention of the movement. We're trying to open up the hips through a neutral spine because that way we create the alignment that we're looking for in the body. Fingertips stay down beside you. And we're using the fingertips to help lengthen the crown and balance the pelvis. And we're just changing the angle of the stretch by walking the hands a little bit more forward. If it doesn't feel good, stay where you are. Leaning a little bit or a lot just depends on where you are. You can have your hands forward. You can have your hands on your knee, whatever feels good to you. Don't force anything. Remember the intention of the movement. Close your eyes and notice how your breath changes the shape. Every time you exhale, it creates a little bit of a difference. Start to look for that. Next breath in, bring the head up if you fold it. Bring the right leg out to the right. Take the left foot to plant in front of you. Take the right hand to the front of the left ankle. Take the left arm up to the sky and side bend to the right. It's not gonna be a big movement, but make sure that the pelvis stays grounded. The left rib cage pulls up to the sky. And inhale to center, releasing the hand. Bring the right foot in and the left ankle on top of the right. So we're just crossing opposite. So left ankle on top or left knee on top. Or somewhere in between, but the pelvis stays grounded down. We're not forcing anything. Using your hands beside you to help lengthen. Pelvis stays grounded down and the crown is directly above the tail. As you breathe here, the breath is expanding all directions through the rib cage. Start to lean a little bit more forward if you want more of a different angle. Just choose what works for you today. Let your exhale fall out of your ankle, fall out of your knee, fall out of your hip. Inhale to come up. Left leg out to the left. Right foot plants in front. 
Try to lengthen that left inner thigh, the left hamstring. Take the left hand to the front of the right ankle, the right arm to the sky, and then lean over to the left. Shoulders down. Trying to get that side bend with the right side up. And inhale, coming back up through center. Release the hand. Straighten the leg and bring both heels to the front of the mat. Bring your hips up to your heels. Bring your arms directly in front. Roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time as we inhale. Reach the arms back. Exhale to come up. Reach the arms forward. Keep going. The whole exhale as you move from the lying position. So use this whole time as you're coming up to really use a long exhale. A long inhale to slowly come down, controlled as you go down, and controlled as you go up. Last one. We're gonna stay down, taking the hands behind the knees as we go. Knees come into the chest. Bring your heels up to the sky. Bring your fingers up to the sky and circle the ankles and wrists clockwise, slowly. Allow your shoulder blades to be heavy and your heels and fingers to reach up. Let's go the other way. Hold to neutral, bring your knees into your chest. Arms can go overhead and let the knees fall to the left. Breathe into your right side ribs. Coming back through neutral, knees to the right. Coming back through neutral, this time the bottoms of the feet come together as the knees stay wide. Adjust the pelvis as you need to. We're trying to keep the pelvis and the shoulders square to the front of the mat. Closing the eyes. Moving into Shavasana when you're ready. Heels to the corners of your mat. The arms can be where they are or by your side or on your belly, whatever works for you. Let's take a deep breath in together. Big smile, let it go from the mouth. As you are here being held by the earth, just feel that energy, that electricity as you become one with everything around you. Bend your knees, plant your feet, roll over to your right side using your right arm underneath your ear as a pillow.
Let's take our time as we come up from here. Come up to a seat. Hands to the knees. Let's exhale together. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold the breath. Exhale, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in. Exhale, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in. Gentle smile. Exhale, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in. Exhale, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Gentle smile. Inhale. Slow and controlled. Exhale. Slow and controlled. gentle smile. Bring your hands to your heart. We'll finish the practice with one Om, three Shanti. Shanti means peace. Inhaling together. Om Shanti 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 Big smile. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much.